Fort, and I'm owner of Breathing Room, a little yoga studio in Delmar. And today we'll be talking about props and their purpose and usage. Today I'll be showing you a restorative pose called Sutta Baddha Konasana, Reclined Cobbler's Pose. And this pose will be using all three of the props that I'll show you, be showing you today. The blocks, a strap, and a bolster. You're going to start out taking your blocks and setting them up like so for the bolster to lay on. This gives you more support for your back. I'm going to turn it around so you can see what the front of me is going to be doing. So it's the same setup with a bolster, just turned a different direction. Then I'm going to sit in front of it. Sit about an inch away. I'm going to take the soles of my feet together. Then I'm going to take the strap, place it around my low back. About right where the top of your pants come is where the strap's going to go. Come to the inside of the thighs and then wrap the strap around the bottom of the feet. And you're going to cinch the strap. Not too tight so that you can't recline, lay back, but tight enough so you can feel the support holding the legs in place. And then laying, lengthening and laying back on the bolster. You can also take blocks Put them underneath your knees or blank. It's important that everything is supported, which is what props do. They support you, allowing you to open up more, release more, and let go. So the next prop I'm going to show you are blocks. Blocks are really handy because they bring the floor up to us. So I'm going to do a low lunge and show you what it looks like without blocks. My hands are down on the floor, but my chest is collapsed into my leg. Therefore, I can't get a deep breath. The deeper the breath, the better the pose. So I bring blocks underneath my hands to lift my chest up so now I can get a nice deep breath, pulling it all the way back to my left heel, lengthening, opening. Therefore, the integrity of the pose is there. Deeper breath, better support. The next step, uh, prop I'm going to show you is how to use a strap. There's a numerous different ways you can use a strap. Same with the bolster or the block. Um, but I'm going to show you my two favorites. So the first is leg line series, allowing our uh, leg muscles to open up. So you're going to lie on your back, bring one leg up, slide the strap to the heel of your foot and walk your arms up the strap. So this allows you to open the back of your leg. Inhaling, breathing into the back of the leg, exhaling, tugging on the strap to pull the leg a little bit closer to you. Don't muscle through it. Listen to your body and see what feels good. There's no such thing as pain in yoga. So if you ever have pain, back off. Then you can also take the strap in one hand, open the leg out to the side, opening the internal layer of leg muscles and hips muscles. Then you can go the other direction, reaching the heel away from you, but keeping the hip planted on the floor. This will open the outside of your thigh muscles and your hip muscles. So that's a way to open the legs using the strap. You can also open the arms by, you take a strap, throw it over a shoulder. You're going to inhale the arm that the strap is on. Inhale the arm up and then spin it around. Grab the strap. Inhale the other arm up. Grab the top of the strap. My hands don't reach, so I use the strap to create more space so I can find that tension, pulling on the strap in opposite directions. 
and then using your breath to open. So in summation, uh, that's how we use props in our yoga practice. If you want to see me and I'll help you learn more about how you can use props, I'm Krista Spohr and I'm at Breathing Room. My website is www.theroomtobreathe.com. Thanks.